Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as structures of hydrophilic amino acids. Now, hydrophilic amino acids are those amino acids which are water loving. So we have two different type of categories in hydrophilic amino acid, and that is the polar charged amino acid and polar uncharged amino acid. The polar charged amino acid category consists of glutamic acid and aspartic acid as an acidic amino acid, and arginine, histidine, and lysine as a basic amino acid. In polar uncharged amino acid, we have tyrosine, asparagine, serine, cysteine, glutamine and threonine. Now we are going to remember the structures of these amino acids in this video. Now just like hydrophobic amino acids, we also created codes for hydrophilic amino acids. So the code for polar uncharged side chain is spending quality time with your children is necessary. Again all the letters that are in red color is basically showing the amino acid present in this category. If we look at the structure of each amino acid, we can see that all the elements that are making these amino acids are the same as hydrophobic amino acids. That includes hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and only one amino acid contains sulfur in it, and that amino acid is cysteine here. Now these elements belong to a certain group, and group number means the number of electrons present in their outermost shell. The first shell needs two electrons to get stable, that's why hydrogen makes one bond. Carbon will have four electrons in the outermost shell, so it will make four bonds to complete the octet rule. Nitrogen will make three bonds, and oxygen and sulfur will make two two bonds. We discussed this phenomenon in hydrophobic amino acids in more detail. The link of the structures of hydrophobic amino acid will be given in the description. Okay, now we are going to discuss the structures of hydrophilic amino acids. Acids. You might remember this fork structure from the previous video. If not, then this is the structure made by a general amino acid. What we did was we take the common parts of the amino acid on one side like this and make a greater sign. So this fork structure was made for alanine because it has a beta carbon attached with the alpha carbon here. Now we will use this fork structure in order to memorize the structure of hydrophilic amino acid. The first amino acid is serine. The symbol for serine is S and the structure is just use the fork and attach OH with it. Now this is the structure for serine. Let's discuss the official structure by using this structure. So this junction part is basically the alpha carbon and carbon belongs to group 4 so it will make 4 bonds. The first one will be made with the amino group. The second one will be made with the COOH group. The third bond will be made with another carbon because this is a fork structure. This carbon is attached to oxygen here and oxygen will be attached to hydrogen there. The rest of the bonds will be made by hydrogen to create the stability in the structure. So this is the official structure for serine. Next is cysteine. The symbol for cysteine is C. Now we will take this fork structure and we will just add SH group with it. Again, we know how to make the fork structure, so this is the structure. Now carbon will attach itself with the sulfur group. Sulfur belongs to group 6, so it will make two bonds. The first bond is already made with the beta carbon. The second bond will be made with hydrogen. So this is the official structure for cysteine. Next amino acid is asparagine. The symbol for asparagine is N. Now we will take this fork structure and we will attach this group with it. Now this is asparagine. Again we know how to make this structure. We will just attach this group with it. You can see this carbon atom is making four bonds. Two bonds with this oxygen, one bond with the nitrogen here, and one bond with the carbon. Nitrogen belongs to group 5, so it will make three bonds. That's why it is having two H group with it. Okay, next. Next is tyrosine. The symbol for tyrosine is Y. Again, we will take this fork structure and we will just attach a phenol group with it. This is the structure for tyrosine. And it is quite easy to make officially now. Next is threonine. The symbol for threonine is T. Now we will take this fork structure 
extend one carbon atom with it and attach OH group with the beta carbon. Now I think you can understand how to make this structure officially in the exam. So we will take this fork structure and we will put it here. Now this beta carbon is attached with another carbon as well as this OH. So this H will be replaced by OH here and this carbon will make another bond with the carbon. And this carbon will make three bonds with hydrogen. So this is the official structure for threonine. Next is glutamine. The symbol for glutamine is Q. We will take this fork structure, extend it by one carbon, and attach this group with it. So this is the structure for glutamine. Now we know how to make it. So we'll take the fork structure, attach one carbon with it, and attach this group with it. This carbon will attach itself with two hydrogen in order to get stable. Now let's take a quick recap for polar uncharged amino acids by using this fork structure. So by attaching OH, we will make it serine. So this is threonine. This is tyrosine. This is asparagine, this is glutamine, and this is cysteine. Okay, next category contains polar charge side chain. Now we have acidic side chains and we have basic side chains. In acidic side chains, we only have two amino acids, and in both amino acids, they end in the word acid here. That's why we didn't generate any code for acidic amino acids. For basic side chain, the code is Red Knights of Honor. That includes arginine, lysine, and histidine. Now, let's see the structures of these amino acids as well. So for aspartic acid, as the symbol for aspartic acid is D, we will use this fork structure and we will just attach another COOH group with it. Now, to make the official structure by using this fork structure, we can use this fork structure like this and this beta carbon will be attached with the next carbon. Now, this carbon is attached with OOH. So, we will make two bonds with one oxygen and one bond with one oxygen. Now oxygen needs to make two bonds, so one bond will be made with hydrogen like this. So this carbon is stable, this oxygen is stable, and this H is stable. This is the official structure for aspartic acid. Next, next is glutamic acid. The symbol for glutamic acid is E. Now we will take this fork structure and we will extend it with one carbon and attach COOH group with it. Now we know how to make it. We will take this beta carbon, attach another carbon with it, and this carbon will be attached with this carbon. So we will make two bonds with one oxygen and one bond with one oxygen. And this oxygen will make one bond with one hydrogen. For this carbon, as it needs to make two more bonds, so it will get stabilized by hydrogen like this. So this is the structure for glutamic acid. Let's move on to the basic amino acid. So the first amino acid in basic category is histidine. The symbol for histidine is H. To memorize the structure, we will use this fork and then we will attach this group with it. Now, this is the structure for histidine. And now we know how to make it. The next amino acid is lysine. The symbol for lysine is K. To memorize the structure, we will use this fork and then we will attach three carbons like a wave in this structure and attach a minor group in the end. So, this is the structure for lysine. Let's make the official structure by using this structure. So, we know how to make the fork structure, right? We will attach three more carbon atoms with it like this. The third carbon is attached with one nitrogen. And we know nitrogen will make three bonds, so the two bonds will be made with two hydrogens. All the carbons will get stable with two two hydrogens like this. So this is the official structure for lysine. Last but not the least, arginine. The symbol for arginine is R. To memorize this structure, we will use the fork. Then we will make a wave-like structure by using three carbons. Attach NH group with it then attach one more carbon and this group and NH2 with it. Okay, now let's make an official structure by using this snake-like structure. We know how to make the fork structure, right? Attach three carbons with it like this. The third carbon is attached with one nitrogen like here. This nitrogen is attached with one carbon. So this is that carbon. 
this carbon is attached with two nitrogens there. So we will do that like this. Okay, now we will stabilize this whole structure with hydrogens. For this nitrogen, as it made only one bond, two more hydrogens will attach itself with it. For this nitrogen, as it made two bonds with this carbon, it will attach only one hydrogen with it. For this nitrogen, as it made two bonds already, so that's why it will make one more bond with hydrogen. The three carbons will make two two bonds with hydrogen to complete their stability. So, this is the official structure for arginine. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.